Hey Hack! Welcome to today's video. Decided to film it outside because it is so nice out. So I'm going to be reading you a story. If you can watch this story on the device while you're outside and have some space to move around, that would be great. Otherwise, do it in a room where you have a little bit of space around you because we're going to get a little bit active. So you can follow along with the story as we read. This is called Oliver and the Three Food Groups, and it was a story created by an organization called NSTEP. We're going to read the story and follow along with the actions on each page. Oliver got to health class, which is his favorite class of the day. Mrs. Johnson told the class that they will be learning about the Canada Food Guide today. So Mrs. Johnson says, today's topic is the Canada Food Guide. Now, run to the next page. So run across the room if you can, or run across the yard until we get to the next page. Mrs. Johnson is talking about the food groups, vegetables and fruit, whole grains, protein foods. Why are food groups good for you? Bear crawl to the next page and find the answer to the question. Vegetables and fruit make you glow and are good for your skin and your hair. Whole grains make you go and give you energy. Proteins make you grow and build muscle. Now, skip to the next page. The bell rings to signal the end of the day. Ring, ring, ring. Lunge with your right leg forward all the way to the next page. Oliver rides his bicycle home after school. Now lunge with your left leg forward all the way to the next page. Oliver comes home from school and his parents say they are going to the supermarket to get food for supper. Now do 10 jumping jacks, and then run to the next page. We are having spaghetti and lentil tomato sauce with a salad for supper. We need to get the ingredients together. Hop on your left leg all the way to the supermarket. Or the next page. Mom. We should get whole wheat pasta because the whole grains keep you full for longer, says Oliver. Hop on your right leg all across the aisle or to the next page. I got some lentils for our tomato sauce, says dad. Did you know lentils are in the protein food group, says Oliver. Protein food groups make you strong, so do five push-ups and speed walk all the way to the next page. Oliver, can you grab spinach for the salad and mushrooms and peppers for the homemade spaghetti sauce, says mom. Oliver says, all of these foods are in the vegetables and fruit food group. Cool. Now jump with two feet all the way to the next page. Oliver sees the chocolate bars and wonders what food group they belong to. Balance on your left leg for 10 seconds and then go to the next page. The next day, Oliver asked his teacher what food group chocolate bars are in. Now balance on your right leg for 10 seconds and go to the next page. Oliver's teacher says chocolate bars are not in any of the food groups. We should try to limit the number of sugary foods we eat. Good question, Oliver. Now we're gonna do high knees all the way to the next page. <laughs> Oliver grabs his lunch and goes to join his friends for lunch. Now give your family or friends or whoever's nearby you a high five. Thanks for playing along. Come back to play with Oliver again soon. So I hope you learned some things about food in this story and maybe your heart rate is up a little bit maybe you're sweating a little bit
because we want to make sure we're getting moving every day. And it's really nice to be outside. Thanks for joining us as Oliver helped his parents cook a healthy meal. Maybe you can help your parents at home too. See you later. Thank you.